welcome to Arts and Drop Things. For this video, I'll be presenting to you an overlooked scenario of mountain range through the use of oil pastel. I started to sketch the mountains and this will serve as my guide in applying the first coat of the painting. And for the color codes of the pastel that I'll be using, I'll just flush it on the screen. And I'm using Stedler oil pastel. smudge and blend it through the use of tissue or any blending materials that you want to use. You can also use your fingers. Then I put the outlines of the mountains. In smudging or blending smaller details, it's better to use cotton buds or blending stamp. And for the mountains that are near, I'll be doing it more detailed to show depth and clarity. And while on the mountains that are far, I'll just apply it with a lighter color and fade it to show its distance. And since the scenery is overlooking, I wanted to put clouds that covers up the ground. I put gray on shadows then later on apply it over with white. And by the way, if you have subscribed to Arts and Draftings, thank you for always watching my presentations. You have been my motivation to do more. And if you're not yet subscribed, feel free to do so and stay connected. You can also hit the bell button to be updated for upcoming videos. And for other artworks and architectural drawings, you can visit my Instagram account and Facebook page. I provided the links in my description box below. And this presentation was requested by Lou. And if you want to request something that you want me to draw, just comment down below. And if you want to apply pastels with minimal pigments, just use cotton buds and rub it directly on the pastel then, then rub it again or apply it in your painting.
I applied black pastel for the shaded part of the mountain and gives depth and contrast on the lighter colors of the painting. Then again, smudge it with cotton buds. Then use black colored pencil or or 8B pencil on the other half portion of the mountains facing against the light source. Then apply it over again with white pastel on the mountains to show smaller clouds that covers the mountains. Then I'll put some trees on the nearest mountains and put some details. And in my way of using oil pastels, I usually use toothpick or sharp edges to draw and put smaller details. You can also use this to put highlights. But in this technique, you must use a brighter or lighter first coat, then apply it over with darker shade or darker tone of pastels. And also applicable on vice versa in order for you to achieve the effects. Then put some shades of the tree using darker green and apply it through stippling method to show our rough texture. Then put some highlights of the trees using white ink or white paint. It's easier to use this method or application in smaller details. depth on the clouds, put some shades on the bottom through the use of cotton buds. Find out that may be true or may be true. Then finalize the edges or apex of the mountains and in here I'm using the colored pencil. For the clouds, put some shades of yellow to show reflections of the sunlight.
and here I also put birds that are flying on the sky to show more drama in my painting. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the bell button to be updated for upcoming videos. Again, this is Arts and Draftings by Denzel. See you again to my next video.